Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Eni Arianti. In this video, I will bring you news about Vesak Festival. Vesak is the one of the most important Buddhist festival. Vesak also has another name, namely Vesak or Buddha's Day. Vesak is a celebration of Buddha's birthday and for people Vesak is sign of enlightenment from Buddha when he finds meaning in life. A Buddhist will reflect on the Buddha teaching and what does it mean to be a Buddhist on Vesak day. In various countries, Vesak day also celebrated such as Visaka Puja or Buddha Purnima in India, Saga Dewa in Tibet, Vesak in Malaysia and Singapore, Visaka Bucha in Thailand, and Vesak in Sri Lanka. Vesak is the holy day of Buddhism. Vesak is celebrated to commemorate three important events. These three important events were later called Tri Suci Waisak. There are the first, the birth of Prince Siddhartha. Prince Siddhartha was the son of King Sudodana and Queen Mahamaya. Sudarta was born in a garden named Lubini at 623 before century. Siddhartha was born into the world as the future of Buddha, who will attain the highest happiness. The second, Prince Siddhartha attains the great enlightenment. At the age of 35, Prince Siddhartha attained perfect enlightenment and became a Buddha in the Buddha Gaya during the month of Vesak. The third is the death of Buddha Gautama. Buddha Gautama died in Kusinara at the age of 80 and 5 in 543 before century. Reporting from the Borobudur Conservation Center, the Buddhist tradition of celebrating Visak Day at Borobudur Temple has been since 1929. This celebration was started by the Dutch East Indies Theophosi Association, where one of the members is a mixture of European and Japanese nobility. The Visak celebration at Borobudur was stopped during the Revolutionary War for the independence of the Republic Indonesia. In addition, the restoration stopped in 1973. During the restoration period, the celebration was moved into Mendut Temple. Visak Day is always celebrate on May or early of June. In 2000 and in 2020, Vesak Day falls on 7 May. The date of Vesak is not fixed because of the calculation based on full moon Asian lunar calendar or Vesak Ha. Buddhists in each region have their own tradition in celebrating the Vesak. Buddhists in Indonesia usually will celebrate the Vesak Lantern Festival celebration, which is usually held at Borobudur Temple. This festival it, celebration is the moment the release of the thousand paper lantern uh, that were flow into the sky. On Vesak days, usually Buddhists will go to their local temple, and some may even stay there all day. On full moon night, they also did lots of good deeds, took a part in meditation on Buddha's teaching, and also broke offering to temples and share food for people. A Buddhist family usually also decorate their house with lantern. They will also take a part in the procession and wear white clothes. 
Buddhists also usually perform the bathing the Buddha ceremony on Vesak day. This ceremony commemorates where water flow over Buddha's shoulder. The purpose of this ceremony is to remind people to clean their mind from negative things like greed and hatred others. Indonesia is a pluralistic country, consisting of various cultures, ethnicities, languages, and religions. Indonesia has a motto, Binika Tunggal Ika. The meaning of this motto is different, but still one. From this motto, we know that Indonesian state has a lot of diversity. This diversity is make Indonesia a pluralistic country. In particular, the diversity of religion that they have, such as Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, and others. What is curtain is that they have different views from one another. Therefore, they need from tolerance between religious communities in order to become a safe and peaceful country. Okay, that's all about my news that I can convey today. Thank you for your great attention. Stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay at home. Uh, I said, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.